Well, it's a big weekend, folks. The ISU Women's Basketball Reunion Weekend. I'm Mark Liptak. We're about 30, 35 minutes away from the start of the alumni game. We're interviewing one of the first co-head coaches in ISU women's basketball history. Sandra Noakes, along with Kevin Gilbride, were in charge of the very first team back in 1974-1975. Thanks for coming back, Sandra. Thank you. Appreciate that. Sandra, i got to ask you, can you tell us a little bit what it was like in the early days? I'm sure it was a lot different. <laughs> uh, well, it was very different. I, uh, being... Actually, I'm, I think I, I'm calling myself a transition coach because I coached uh, prior to Title IX and then I, uh, Kevin and I coached the first... Kevin, Kevin Gilbright. Yes, Kevin Gilbright and I coached uh, uh, the first... Uh, official... Official right. game for the... NC, well, AIAW, I think it was then. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I came through many changes in basketball, many rule changes, and uh, it was a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to be back. Well I know you had a winning record the first year. Uh, I actually found the box score of the very first game that you folks played and I see another Meg Solness coming down the, down the corridor. I know you had the I got the very first box score of the very first game that you guys ever played. Is there anything that stands out about that first season? Is it, was there a game or an individual player or something that you remember after all these years? It's so many years. Yeah, I know. Uh, I remember that it was uh, just very, very exciting. We had many close games, mm -hmm. and uh, by the end of the uh, uh, season, we were tied with another team to go to the uh, district playoffs, uh, and... Uh, so that was very exciting for the us. first year. Mm -hmm. the very did first you year. play at Holt Arena or did you play oh, your games at Reed Gym? We played in Reed Gym. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming Reed Gym was pretty different from what it oh, is today. Very, very different, yes. The bleachers were very different. Uh, it was a much different atmosphere, but it's still Reed Gym. <laughs> well, Sandra Luck, we love having you back. Thank you for what you've done for ISU women's basketball in the past. We hope you have a terrific weekend. Oh, thank you, Marcus. Be fun. I appreciate your asking me. That was Sandra Noakes, one of the first two co-head coaches in ISU women's basketball history from 1974-1975. We'll have more interviews coming up, folks. And we're back here again, folks. Another interview. It's ISU women's basketball alumni weekend. And the lady to my left is one of the greatest scorers in the history of the ISU women's basketball program. Easy enough to remember her point total, 1,492. Wow. 1492, the same year Columbus supposedly discovered America. My That's the connection. <laughs> Lindsay, how are you, girl? You look great. I'm so good. I'm so excited to be here and see everyone's familiar faces and old friends and stuff. So I'm so happy to be here. I know the last the last time I saw you, I mean, you were here for the last alumni game. And then we saw you at Arizona State where you were working out with the team and you had that knee injury. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm feeling a lot better now. But I did. I ended up tearing my ACL. And here I play four years up here and never had any right, knee had issues. Back, but no knee injuries. Yeah, and then that happens, but I'm feeling good now, so I'm excited to play. When you when you look back, Lindsay, I mean, you were part of a championship team. You got the ring. Is there anything that stands out in particular? Was there a game or just a season, or, or what do you remember? I mean, obviously that championship is something you'll never forget, but um, just my teammates and traveling and meeting just awesome people like yourself and um, just those relationships. I'll never forget. Sure. Yeah. Well, I know all about the traveling. We all do. Oh, yeah. I know. You'll never forget those bus rides, right? <laughs> do you still play at all, Lindsay, or are you into more like other like triathlon or things like that? I know your sister is big into it. Yeah. So just competitive things mm -hmm. like just random things. But um, I'll shoot around and play with my husband at the gym every once in a while. Who wins? Oh, <laughs> it matters. It um, matters what we're doing. If we're doing a shooting game or playing one-on-one. -on -one. But um, with him not around, I'll say I won. I'm just kidding. <laughs> good enough. Good enough. Lindsay, like I say, you look terrific. It's great to see you. Have a, have a whole lot of fun this weekend. 
Welcome back, Kit. All right. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> that was Lindsey Reed, folks. Again, one of the best first-team All-Big Sky Conference. Terrific score. Had a career high of 32 points in a game against Montana State right here at Reed Gym. We'll have more interviews coming up. Stay with us. I'm Mark Liptak. It's ISU Women's Basketball Alumni Weekend. And the former player right here holds the record tonight for coming the longest distance to come back to ISU. Juana Yakovica from Romania, an amazing athlete in her time here at ISU, scored over 1,000 points, scored over 30 points in a game. I was always impressed with Juana's intelligence, spoke six languages. Six, I barely speak English, she speaks six and she played on the Romanian national team. How's that for a build-up? Oh my God, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> that's, a, that's quite the build-up, Mark, I appreciate it. Well, you were a great player, Juana. Um, I know you traveled a long way, and I know you've been traveling the country, so you, you didn't just come from Romania right to Pocatello, but how long have you been traveling? How long have you been on the road? Um, so it's been a week. We've been to Chicago and then to Seattle and now here in Pocatello, but this is this is the place to be. Um, I recall the interview we did in 2014 mm -hmm. and I told you that if this thing is happening, I'm going to be back and here I am, I'm back. What are you doing in Romania, Juana? Who do you work for? I work in IT. Um, I'm an IT manager for a large company. It's a British uh, Dublin-based company okay. um, and it's, it's great. I work in a great team of programmers, computer programmers, and uh, just doing great things over there. Well, and you're close to home, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in my hometown, actually. Yeah. Okay. I get to travel quite a bit, but um, that's my favorite thing to do above, uh, be, uh, well, above, not, not above basketball. Basketball's first, sure. but travel is second, and so I get to travel a lot, but I'm home-based in, in my hometown, and that's great. Do you still play at all back home? I actually do. I actually play twice a week. Um, okay. So, yeah, we get a group out there, and we get to play. Got to ask you one. I mean, you played in a lot of big games, a lot of Big Sky tournament games. Is there any game in particular that stands out for you? You know what? We, we played Stanford in the NCAA tournament That's on my right. birthday. That's right. And I, I can never forget that. I mean, I, I turned 21 when we played Stanford on ESPN, and mm -hmm. that's just the game I will always remember. Juana, you look like, like I say, you could play for another 10 years. You got any eligibility <laughs> left? Well, not quite, but thank you. Juana Yakovica, thank you for coming. Have a great weekend, kid. Thank you, Mark. Good to see you. That was Juana Yakovica, folks. I'm Mark Liptak. We'll have some more interviews coming up. This is ISU Women's Basketball Alumni Weekend.